Hi, and welcome to another video from QB1, the channel dedicated to helping young players and especially young quarterbacks. My name is Ryan Hicks, and I will be your QB for these videos. This video is the second in a three-part series that will work on developing your foot speed with ladder drills. According to my strength and conditioning coach, Patrick Gallagher of Pure Athletics, the second key to having great foot speed is hand and body position. Positioning your hands and your body will help you move faster. Otherwise, you tend to look like a spastic giraffe. I'm going to show you how incorporating good hand and body position will help you change direction easier and make your opponent look silly. Make sure you pay close attention when you do these drills, and then you will notice huge improvements on your performance. The five drills are harder than they look, but take your time, get your rhythm, and synchronize your hand and body movements. The five drills that I'm going to show you are hopscotch, three in each, lead foot in, two in, two out, and one in, two out. Now depending on what you're doing athletically, there are three different hand positions. There is plus one, plus two, plus three. Plus one is for ladder drills. And these, your hands are right in the, like, the little gun holsters. And you're going back and forth. Plus two, your hands are coming up to your chest. And this is for like a nice, easy jog. Now plus three is when you're really starting to run. And this is 12 inches away from the face and 12 inches away from the butt. Now also, when you run, your hand your right hand should be with your left foot. So your hand should be with your opposite foot. So it'd be left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. Also, your hands should be open. Your hands should be open and loose. You don't want it tight and then clenched in a fist because that slows you down. You want it nice, open, relaxed, not really tight. So now we're going to talk about the lower body. When you land on the ground, you're, you want to land on your power pad, which is right here on your foot. You never want to land on your heel. But when you do land, you want your heel to be credit card height off the ground. Also, you might notice that I like to do my ladder drills in bare feet or toe shoes. It teaches my body not to rely on the grip of my shoes, but to rely on the angle of my body. Now to start, you might need to use gym shoes or cleats. But once you get comfortable with these drills, try them in your bare feet. Now I'm going to show you the five different drills. So first, I'm going to walk through them. Then I'm going to go at half speed, and then I'm going to go at full speed. So we start out with hopscotch. Now with hopscotch, you're going to jump out, then with, your other, then with one foot, you're going to go in. Now the other foot is up. Then you go out, then you do the opposite foot. You go out, other foot, up, other foot, up, other foot, out, other foot, out. And now we're going to do two in, two out. So you're going to do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now remember, your hands need to be in the plus one, minus one position. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now the next is one in, two out. Now with this drill, you also have to cross over and keep your hands at plus one, minus one. So you're gonna go one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. Now the next one is three in each. So you're gonna go one, one, two, three, 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 one. And now the last one, lead foot in. So now this one you want your foot to be behind you. So it's gonna be one, 
and it's gonna be the outside. So you're gonna go one, outside, one, outside, one, outside, one. And now I'm going to go at half speed. And now, full speed. And those are the five different moves. Was that fun? Now, let's go back over the things that we need to remember. We need to remember the three different hand positions. We need to also to remember that we need to keep our hands loose. Also, we need to make sure that we land on the power pads. We need to make sure that our heels stay credit card height off the ground. Also, our butt is our stabilizer. It also helps you balance the lower you get. All right, awesome. Now, let's compete.